Okay, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, let's continue with extreme tactics tonight. Last time we started with the Hammerhawk campaign and we managed to get through like o over half, well, yeah, half of the uh, campaign in one sitting. So not even a full sitting either because we finished off the uh, Blood Fox campaign. I don't know whether it's just these missions are a lot easier or it's just because I understand the game more than I did when I was playing the Bloodhawk campaign. Uh, the Bloodfox campaign. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're up to mission seven. I'll just uh, play the cinematic there or that again. And then we will uh, start the mission. Looks like destroying that stealth relay made you some enemies, Commander. The Blood Fox clan has set up a transport relay in your area to enable fast attacks. They're going for a quick kill this time, and you're the target. Luckily, we have our own transport relays up and running as well, and just in time. This may also be a good time to test the clan's newest weapon. The Talon should keep them at bay long enough for you to get a few shots in. Best thing to do is pin them down before they can strike. Knock out that transport relay, and then bring down the rest of their troops. Okay. It's weird, a number of these, uh, a number of these, um, mm, briefing videos have mentioned, like, gaining access to weapons or some, like, having access to detectors or something like that, but we've had talons, uh, that's what he mentioned there, uh, for the last, like, four missions or something. It just unlocked all of the weapons. Uh, when we got the weapons relay, it hasn't been unlocking them part by part. Wonder whether that's because they changed the uh, campaign pace after they had already done the cinematics, or because they forgot to do so, something like that. I don't know. So apparently we've got transport relays or something like that? Okay. Uh, let's see, special units. Detection, shield, weapon relays. Did he say transport relays? Something about transport or teleporters or something like that? We've got shields, we've got detection and weapons, but we don't have anything else. Okay, fine. Just uh, ignore everything which our commander was saying. I mean, I think we're on the right mission. Yeah, it's number seven. That was the right, uh... That was the right cinematic. Oh, well then! <laughs> Our commander doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh... Let's see. Defend MCC against fast attacks. Locate and destroy Blood Fox MCC. Okay. Hold on. Am I sure that the, uh... Like, the cinematics... Maybe they were labelled wrong? On the CD? I'm just playing them and they have a number attached. But no, I've been playing them in order as we've been going through. I doubt I skipped one. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm not going to think about it anymore. <laughs> Maybe they just don't match up with the uh, missions. Okay. Apparently we've got uh, a new transport type. We have spider legs. A good transport in terrain with lots of sharp rocks. Also can go over uh, destroyed vehicles, I'm assuming. It's like the uh, giant treads or the uh, uh, for the blood fox. Except it seems that it's actually pretty fast. Walkers have got a speed of 50. Spiders have got a speed of 125. I guess the spider legs combines the wheels. It combines like the wheels with the giant treads? Hmm. So you could actually make a uh, scout with it and it would be pretty quick. Let's see. What if it's like photon mortars or something? Hmm. What's the range of photon mortars? 192. 
224 for the lasers. Except photon water deals more damage. Let's see. Fast mortar bot. Mark 1. Oh, I want to make a new bot. Probe, spider legs, photon mortar, fast mortar bot mark one. There we go. Let me just check my library to make sure I didn't have any half built things in there. Nope. Okay, good. Righto, what have we got? We have... Oh, we're up against a wall there. There's a mine there. Nice, all of our... Uh, relays are behind our base. We have a... Heavy chassis one there with a metal detector on top of it, it seems. And a bunch of these... Uh, other bots, okay. Oh, we'll bunch you all up. They're all scuttling around on their legs. I like the idea behind the spider legs. I think just having four spider legs, especially on the larger chassis, looks silly. Maybe if they're more splayed out rather than up on up on the up on the legs like stilts, but I don't know. Uh, right. Uh, what am I doing? I am building things. Okay. Yeah, just build a bunch of those. They keep working well. We'll keep uh, making use of them. You two scuttle up here. Oh, hello. Run away! What are you doing? AI. Combat. There we go. Especially the large ones. It looks like the legs scuttle as quickly as the smaller ones do, but they just move slower. Okay, there we go. Initiating attack. Initiating attack. Target. Initiating attack. There we go. Okay. Once I get one of my detectors up, we'll be able to uh, start exploring. Also. I want you all to repair. Just repair. You're all sitting around the spot where my, uh... Miner needs to drop off the resources. Okay, head up here. And I want you to be under group two. I wonder whether I should replace your stompy legs with, uh... Spider legs. It'll make you move faster. Hmm, but it would also increase your cost. How much would it increase your cost? Let's see. 98. 1,500. 1,900. Okay, so that went up by 6. That went up by 100. That went up by about 300. Okay. 
Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, if anything, just for maneuverability. <clears throat> Allow them to walk over uh, sharp rocks. Sure, let's do that. Uh, spider. Heat seeking missiles. Uh, sonic emitter. Radar. Mark 2. Yep. I got the acronym I'd written out around the wrong way, but oh well. Will that update all the ones which I have in production? No, it won't. Okay. So I'll actually continue building the uh, older, von older ones. Okay, good. There's another mine up there. We'll be able to make use of that. Good, good. Go up there. There's a cool art field up there as well. Who's attacking me? Oh. That's quite a few of them up there. Uh, let's hang back until we have... some more of my reinforcements. Uh, yeah, you can move up here as well. Thank you very much for the follow, Deprived. Uh... See. Oop, hang on. Is that like their base over there or something? Hold up. Hang back. Okay. Try and pull them out of their base a bit. Also, now they're getting all bunched up on their own on their own dudes, so. Repair. You can go up there. Build another miner. And then three of those. Okay. Your AI is all set correctly. I guess so. It's hard to, you can't tell whether they, whether like all the units in your selection group uh, have different AIs, different uh, set AIs or not. If there's a mix of different orders in the group. Because I think it's based on per unit. Fine, you can No! Pursue! Stop! Why are you doing this? Now look what you've done. You've cornered yourself behind all these machine gunners. Fantastic, you got yourself killed. Uh, it's be probably because of the heat seeking missiles. Like, ah, oh, they're within range. Y yes, but I don't want you to attack them. Guard activated. Initiating attack. Initiating attack. On alert. Perhaps the guard command 
We'll tell them to just stand there. Or not. You're still following them. I don't know. I can tell them to repair that way they won't run off because they'll be trying to uh line up to get repairs from the repair bot till they have the repairs okay, head up here you're not really much faster I don't know. These things really shouldn't be that much of a problem, but... Uh... They wouldn't be a problem if I could tell my units to just sit and not move. It's amazing how much missing that option is uh, it's causing so much trouble. Hello. Welcome, welcome, works. You've been informed that I'm using extreme tactics. <laughs> Possibly? I don't know. It feels like it. I'm trying to. I'm struggling with the game. It's uh It's it's having it's having issues. Oh well. Actually, there's something. Let's see. If I change over Huh. I was going to say I thought the walker legs would actually give more armor than the spider legs, but spider legs give an extra three extra hundred armor on top of the walker legs. So aside from the uh, cost reduction the walker legs give, there's really no reason to make them over the spider legs. I would have thought the walker legs would be more sturdy than these, but what do I know? Goes against the Geneva Convention. Does that have Klaus on another on an alien another, another on another alien planet? <laughs> Quick, get him! There we go. Good. We are killing them. They keep running back. repaired <laughs> strangely enough it has even more clout than on earth don't ask me how <laughs> who knew that the uh i don't know the the, the fighting between the blood fox clan and the hammerhawk camp clan were of such import to uh <laughs> to earth i've never heard of them at least not since i played this game originally back in late to late night late in 90s <laughs> it's the unknown war it's constantly going on constantly struggling with controls 
Let me just check something. Okay, good. The AI of my uh, newer units is appropriate. I haven't read the secret readme.txt that explains backstory. <laughs> if only I could find my manual. Think of all the lore we've been deprived of. At least, I hope there's a manual which I'm failing to find. I honestly can't remember whether there was one or not. I feel like I can Im believe, I can uh, imagine what the manual looks like, but uh, it could just be a figment of my imagination. It's not like I would have read it much when, the, when I first got this game. Our repair bot up there is doing great, good work. Why are you going over there? It's this one. Because I told you to stop moving. Uh, it's because I told it to like move to here and it's like okay I'll drop on my resources then I'll go to the closest one okay head up here Yes, hit them with so much, so many shots at once, they can't have a chance to uh, retreat to repair. You've only got claws attached. You've got shields too. You've got a force shield and you've got uh Yeah, uh, what's it called? Uh, anti bagna shield. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Damn it. I guess claws and talons do deal damage on their own.
Go around. You can't heal something to the north and south of you. You have to be uh, horizontal to it. It's a little boing. I guess because your animation for healing is only either to the uh, east or west of a target. You didn't have to move over to the right of that unit. I know you have an animation for healing to the left of a unit. I don't know. How's our cooler? Actually run out. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. So there's probably going to be another crossing over here at some point. There's another Kular field. Uh. Balls. Design. Probe. Spider. And radar. Fast. Scout. There we go. <clears throat> How's this map shaped? Okay, it's very vertical. You're fast, but you're not as fast as the units with wheels. So, I guess the best scouts for the Hammerhawks would be uh, flyers. Because I'm assuming a flying unit would be faster than these spider-legged ones. Okay, is there any other units around here? It doesn't look like there's a crossing over here. That's fine. I can move my MCC up to here. It's just like two units over there. Or just one. Oh no, there's two more down there. Okay. You two. I want you to scuttle down here and uh, deal with that. Also, you can go up here and uh, go to that mine. Go. <clears throat> Start moving our units up there. They haven't attacked me for a bit, so let's uh reposition. No, I want you to go this way. Don't go all the way around there. You crazy? Actually, yeah, hold off. My weapons relay is currently packed up.
Hello there. They decided to attack. Flamethrowers for everyone, apparently. Did you blow up my thing? Just as it was getting repairs. Damn it. Okay. that okay good you dealt with both of them get back up here nice that's good that means that we hold this entire half of the map they stop transporting units across the water there also i need to build a scavenger uh where is it i don't have a scavenger design What? Where's my HUD gone? Uh... Help? Where'd, where'd, where'd my bar at the bottom of the screen go? Did I press a button? Turn it on and off. So good. Reloading. Does that bring it back? Good. Okay. Uh. uh I don't know. It was there, and then it wasn't when I looked. Something happened to it. Right, because. I wanted to have a, uh, yeah, I don't have a scavenger. Uh, let's see. Put a force shield on you. <laughs> it's got a big spiked hat. And two sonic disruptors. How fast are you built without anything? 56. This adds... Like... 15 seconds on? That's fine. I just want a scavenger. Good. Good. 
move up here and unpack okay we can start collecting a bunch of this calibrium around here Why can I see that mine? They must have placed a uh, visibility icon on that mine. Just so that you can see it from the beginning, but uh... It just remains for the entire mission? Okay. You know, this along with a number of the animation errors in the uh, Hammerhawk campaign cutscenes makes me think that the uh, Hammerhawk campaign was done later on in development and they didn't have as much time for it. And those mistakes from the uh, cinematics talking about things which weren't actually, aren't actually in the uh, missions. I'm missing a minor. Blow it up. Okay, move up there. Hey, there's another cool off field. Okay. Do we have to go along here, or... Can we go up this way? Let's have a look. Some units there. Maybe they're over here? All we have to do is destroy the MCC, so if I can find that, we can get the mission over and done with. Are they on like a big... Island? Ooh, hello. Island or something. Yeah, they might actually be over here, since all those units are coming from somewhere. I like the idea of the uh, debris blocking the path. Meaning that you have to make use of, uh, like, treads and, uh, transport methods which can actually go over it. I do feel like the scavengers should be able to collect the debris faster so it's not as much of a hindrance if you wanted to get units without like giant treads of the spider legs through. Because one scavenger, even two, uh, one scavenger has to go multiple trips to collect like enough of the debris. They're very slow. And even having two scavengers, it means that they're going to be bumping against each other most of the time, so... It doesn't really speed up the process that much. Hmm. I think it's something which, uh... Total Annihilation got around for, by having the, uh, builders... Uh, sort of beam resources to the vehicle by the little traction... Beam. Um, which meant that the unit didn't have to be in a specific position to collect the resources. It just had to sort of be close enough and then the beam would go the rest of the distance. Darn slow scouts. Ah. 
pathfinding is certainly a big issue in this game. Just the units bumping up against each other and that it's kind of slow. So you lose a lot of time just units bumping against each other and trying to path around each other. I'm pretty used to that from Age of Empires. It's still annoying though. I'm glad Age of Empires 2 had the units being able to sort of pass through each other. At least on your seat, your side. It made it much easier. Like, I mean, let, let's see. Now he's got a full bar. He didn't finish collecting that, but he's got to go all the way back here, drop it off here. And this is something I've said before also. They all have to drop off the resources on the one side. They can't drop it off on the, on the other side or at the rear of your MCC. It's this spot. So if there's a vehicle already there, uh, well, they got to wait in line. That's more bumping around. I know otherwise maybe you'd be able to get resources too quickly, but... Eh. Cooler is what I find myself lacking most of the time. Librium, not so much. Anyway. their bases up here? Let's have a look. Yep. There they are. I think also the AI is not necessarily that good at, like, I don't really think it adapts to what you're doing. I think some of the most toughest units the AI's had is ones which it have started off with. And, uh, you come across them frequently because the AI keeps retreating them to repair them. It'd be interesting to see what the AI is actually doing. See how it's been programmed. Whether it does actually react to what you're doing or whether it's just like... Whether it's just using preset vehicles and it really doesn't deviate from that. I haven't been paying that much attention to the vehicles which I'm destroying. There we go. They did seem to focus on faster moving vehicles in that level. Maybe they restrict what build, what um, units the AI can build, depending on which mission it is. So, you know, oh, this one, they're going to have fast units. They can't build anything but, like, units with wheels to make them all fast. Okay. Pause. Hammerhawk 8, save, and let's have a look at the cutscene. Okay, what have you got to say this time? <clears throat> oh, hang on. I need to actually 
give visible visibility to it. Bad news, Commander. The Bloodbox Clan isn't taking that last defeat sitting on their haunches. I've heard unsettling rumors about a secret weapon, and now they've finally deployed it. Transport gates. Vehicles go in one gate and come out of another. They work in pairs. An impressive but very deadly device. But be careful, Commander. The enemy is throwing everything they have at you this time. I know you're outnumbered, but the clan is stretched to the limit, and I simply don't have any reinforcements to spare right now. I'd advise you to set up a stealth relay as quickly as possible. That should help you locate and destroy those gates before targeting the enemy MCC. This won't be easy, Commander, but your victory here is critical. We can't let this new weapon of theirs get the better of us. It'll only fuel their momentum. Good luck. Okay, then. And he mentioned the transport gates in the last cutscene. Well. Come on. Game, are you not going to maximize? Okay, fine. Uh, <clears throat> hold on a moment. It has decided to crash. <clears throat> I'll have to load it up again. Good thing that I save every time I go into a new mission. Okay. First time it's crashed while I've been, uh, Playing the cutscene. Hooray! Uncharted territory. Um, let's see. Do we have anything new? Fortress. Yes, we do have something new. We've got fly jets. Cool. Expensive, but no terrain limitations. Eat. No armor. So yeah, the spider legs give three hundred armor. The fly jets give no extra armor. That does make units which have it a bit weaker than normal, but uh, yeah, you know, flying units, that's uh, pretty cool. <laughs> it wasn't apparently important for him to mention in the cutscene. I was like, oh yeah, by the way, you have uh, flying units now. It's like, oh, okay. Um, I could put two shields on you. Like that. And I could put a heat seeker, a heat seeker, and a sonic disruptor. <laughs> it's kind of funny just seeing all the little bits stuck on top of the vehicle. Um, air, heat seeking missiles, sonic emitter, uh, force shield, spectrum shield. Mark one. There we go. Okay. What have we got? Is this the area from the last mission? Hang on. Music. There we go. Oh. Okay, let's see. Production. Yeah. How expensive is that? 100? It's actually not that expensive. None of these costs are in 2000, so... Ooh, I'm gonna need a shield relay. I don't have one. We've only got a weapons relay. Okay. Get out of here. Is 
They're just scuffling back and forth, aren't they? Oh, hello. You're a bigger one. Oh, yes. And we're going to need a, uh, a specific relay for our flyers. Uh, because they need to refuel, don't they? Okay, well, it's not even flying because I don't have the uh, appropriate, uh, let's, appropriate, uh, relay. Need a transport relay. And I will give you... Yes, a heat seeker. That's worked pretty well. actually got a uh, aircraft uh, variant given to us a stinger it's got two uh, plasma rifles on it I guess supposed to be like a fast attack fighter or something protection relay oh no we do have a transport relay up there <laughs> okay fine I oh, like mine better was the heavy heaviest was <laughs> the uh, heat seeking missiles And we need a shield relay. I don't actually have one of those, so let's, uh... Hang on. Shield relay. And we will give you... Two heat seekers as well. It may be grounded, but it can still attack. You can hop over here. Now you can take off. And uh, yeah, go have an explore. I'm gonna make a save also. Oh, no. Okay, there's a cool R field. There's not a cool R field, a Calibrium mine there. If I can find a way to get into the like the the rear of their base with a whole bunch of my flyers so you can see its fuel is depleting 
kind of quickly. Oop. We might have to get closer to their base to be able to make full use of that. Or I could just build the ground once and brute force my way into their base. That's worked well enough in the past. Okay, go and refuel. I don't think refueling costs anything. I guess we'll see. I'd imagine if it did cost something, it would cost cooler. Uh, I don't know. Maybe? But I'm pretty sure repairing doesn't cost anything, so... And budge. Yeah, are we on the same map? We're just attacking the other way. And it's like been extended. This is the same as last time. That's the crossing I was on. The co the cooler fields there as well. That's interesting. It's kind of neat. I wonder whether any of the other maps sort of fit together like that. Hmm. Okay, oop, hello. Initiate targeting. Yeah, you really can't go too far. Okay. So we'll keep you as an option. But I'm going to build more of these uh, spider-legged ones. If I know the enemy has, like, the MCC... I mean, that's the thing. Like, if they... It's, uh, the, like, the flyers would be useful if the MCC was on an island. Because then my uh, spider legs would spider leg bots would be able to get over that. I'd have to build hovers or flyers. Uh, but then, it, more likely, the MCC would be blocked off by sharp rocks. But spider legs can get can get over that. I don't need flyers for that. I could build a whole bunch of smaller flyers. Let's see. What's the smallest flyer I can make? Or the cheapest? And I can equip you with a... Lasers! There we go. <laughs> it looks kind of so silly. Uh, oh well. Um, oh, I have to do new. Nope. Probe. Fly jets. Laser. There we go. Small fighter. Like what? It's got no shields. It's basically a TIE fighter. And I build one every 31 seconds. Actually, kind of low on Calibrium. Mm. Yeah, build another miner. Let's 
stick you over there. Ooh, yeah. Oh, okay. There's one of their uh, gates. The map extending or focusing on a different area and it's kind of the same location kind of reminds me of... I think it was Supreme Commander? The campaign for it actually took place uh, on a map and every mission, the map would sort of zoom out. It would be the same general area. So first map would be like you fighting against an opponent on an island. And then the second map would zoom out and it would be you controlling the island and you're now like attacking uh, another AI located on a second island which you couldn't see before and then it would zoom out again and show that there was a, there was a uh, continent nearby. That was neat. It fit well with the uh, large scale that that game had. I think it remembered how your uh, settlements were built up previously as well, so you didn't have the uh, case of like building up your settlement again every mission. It would sort of continue on from where you had been in the previous mission. Up over here. Oh, interesting. My flyer is over sharp rocks and I got rid of my uh, transport relay and he can't move at all. But he hasn't landed. He just can't move because, oh, he can't go onto sharp rocks. So he's just sort of stuck there. I just wanted to move it a little bit closer. There we go. No. Did you not refuel? Uh, up over here. Ref, 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 refuel. Now you're stuck. I think it's because there's some debris underneath you. And you can't move over that. Now that's an interesting bug. Sharp rocks make sense. The debris... I feel like a fly, if, if it's above debris when it runs out of, re, uh, runs out of fuel, should just crush the debris. That seems like the smart option in such a situation. He's just stuck there. <laughs> I'm gonna scavenger, remove that debris, and then I guess I'll build a bunch of small fighters. Ah, no. Just focus on the same things. They work well. I could build the small fighters, but they're going to get destroyed so quickly. They're not going to last 30 seconds in a fight, so I'm not going to re be able to replace them as quickly as I'm losing them, and it's just going to be throwing resources at the enemy.
we're gonna have to move you off that uh cooler field as well because it's run out Ah, my scavenger bot's not going to go and collect those resources. Actually, I could just tell you to move over the resources. Last time I found out that the MCCs could actually, uh... <clears throat> or was it last time or the time before? One of them. I found that the MCCs could actually just go over the debris and uh, pick it up themselves. It's difficult to kind of tell them to do that because there's not a direct order which you can give to like collect resources. You just have to have them move over it. And it can be rather precise. I was trying to pick up some resources, but uh, I wasn't having any of it when I tried. You really like attacking my dis my detectors, don't you? You can't catch it, but you'll keep chasing it. Would you please collect that resource? My fly is stuck. Okay. Oh, hello. Targeting. Boop, boop. Okay, let's see. Vehicles with giant treads. Yeah, I think I've got to wait for a few more of these before I attack them. I should probably move you down here as well. But 
don't want my rep don't want my weapon weapons relay getting blown up Okay, let's, uh, save and go and attack him. Or not, because they're coming to attack me. Their ability to come and attack me as soon as I move my units away is very impressive. Okay. Get out of here. Initiating attack. Initiating attack. Initiating attack. I've actually got three different types of shields on their vehicles here. Oh, well, they're getting repairs. Get rid of the transport relay. Or... Gate. Yeah, it's just called a gate. Pull them towards our base. Or they're just going to get repairs. Bomb alert. Got to get rid of that repair bot down there. Go get it. There we go. Now you're gonna have to stay and fight. It does look like they actually turned the uh, turned themselves to face uh, their attacker. Sometimes? Well, that's just rude. Nobody is taking you ages to get here. You decided to go all the way around. Uh. Fine. Whatever. That's dealt with. <laughs> In a terrible fashion. 
Oh, hey, my fly is free. Go refuel. <laughs> they jostled it free. Hooray! Okay. Go and get repairs. So where would they be located? Just like down here or something. There's a scavenger. There's our MCC. Okay. So we have a direction to attack them in. Might move down to here. Just a bit closer. We've still got cooler here, but don't really want to leave any of my units behind. Pack up and, uh, move over here. There we go. Again, I do like the idea of moving your entire base somewhere. But it was a bit faster. And having some permanent structures would be all right, like turrets. Maybe also having like a, I mean this is getting like the game into a bigger scale than it is. Having like a secondary version which you can build of this which is weaker. Uh, and maybe gets you less but you could have like a smaller MCC which you can put onto a cooler field. This helps you control the map a bit more. And we'll make it as a save.
Mm. I think we're nearly ready to uh, try attacking them. They're just over there. They didn't look like they had too many. And uh, I feel like we've dealt with most of their units. something. You can't hurt me, I have two different types of shields on. Okay, they are going to send more units my way. No! Must be sending units like up there and around. to repair. Oh, I don't have a repair. <laughs> okay. Design, new, spec. Repair. That's weird. Again, Blood Fox campaign actually gave me all these units whenever I need, whenever I was supposed to get them. Or whenever I gained access to new units. So I didn't have to add them manually. Have you move you over to here? There we go. Target. 
targeting. Maybe draw one from their base. The fact that the attack sounds don't have a uh, sort of direction or <laughs> they don't fade out based on distance. Like, I'm being attacked somewhere. I was like, where? I have to frantically hunt around the map where it's coming from. I don't get an alert either. Okay, get another repair bot. Get up here and help them. Okay, good. Move up here. Move over here. Repair bot. Uh, you move there. Repair bot two. Move over there. And we'll keep building the uh, heavy spider walkers. Uh, yeah, I don't want you in that group, flyer. Oh. Hello. It's just one we can do with that. And you were repairing. Got quite a lot of missiles of their own. Initiating attack. Initiating attack. down here. I won't take no for an answer. Attack. 
Okay, good. And now, just attack their MCC. <clears throat> Apparently, it doesn't want to attack back. <laughs> there we go. Victory. Hey. Cool. Okay, next mission. Uh, I think this is mission nine. Yep. Okay. Good work. Yes, yes. Okay. What do you got to say? Good work, Commander. Your efforts have helped us secure the Waterwild territory faster than I thought possible. It won't be long before we're right on Xeron's doorstep in the polar wastes. But the enemy knows we're a very real threat to them now, and they're coming after us with superior numbers this time. Don't let them score a victory here, Commander. I need you to help me win this war, and I'm sure you'd like to live long enough to see that day too. Okay then. Let's see, what have we got? Uh, spider bots. Some things with metal and radars on them. Like shields. Okay then. Uh, build another miner, build a repair bot. Hmm. Ooh, do we have any new... Uh, Technology. Don't have stealth yet, still. Uh, I mean, we've got all the weapons and all the shields and detection, so... Nothing new there. Just special units. Let's see. Nope. Nothing new. Where are we? We're in the bottom right corner. I'm going to put you in a separate group. Since these ones have spider legs and you don't. So I'll move you a little bit closer. Oh, hello. What have you got on you? Like two talons. Targeting. 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 No, don't attack me. How will I defeat you? Aha, you've come onto land. Initiating attack. Hey, there we go. Actually got two cool life fields right next to each other. How convenient.
another Librium mine up there, I think. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I guess they're over in the uh, top right corner or something. Let's go have a look at this. Are there any enemies around here? And there is a mine. Yes, there is. And it's a cloaked one. Okay. they're going to be using a bunch of cloaks units against us I mean that's fine not like they have shields Let's have a look up here. Uh, what's this way? Mm, cool our field. Cliffs. Mine. Enemy unit. Which apparently I could see even though it was cloaked. It was showing up as a green dot on my auto map even though I couldn't see it in my view here. Hmm. Pretty sure cloaked units are supposed to not are supposed to not show up on radar. I would have thought that would include the auto map, but uh, perhaps not.
Hmm. Are we going for resources? Yeah, it's fine. Do up another two. This map looks like it's shaped like a big donut. Have a scout around to see if you can find anything. Mm, a cool R field. Okay, found you. Uh... Again, though, even though you're cloaked, that means that you don't have a shield. Or, you know, you have a cloak, but you don't have a shield, so... Ooh. I have a bit of difficulty finding, seeing you until you're attacking me. Such a shame that you're just really aggressive. Cloaking is a lot scarier on flying units. Because they can appear from any direction, really. So, you know, AI would just go straight from their base towards you. Uh, you have a look over here. Yeah, I can see another green dot on the map there, even though I'm not really supposed to be able to see them while they're cloaked with a radar. Does it say that about the radar? I thought it just said that you can't see them. I don't have any as a stealth, so I can't actually check. Detects vehicles at two times visible range. Yeah. There's their base. Let's go and pay a visit. Yeah, I'm only against one opponent. Build detection relay and deploy vehicles with metal detection. Locate and destroy Blood Fox Stealth Relay and Blood Fox MCC. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll get right, right on building a, all, all that stuff. Did it say to build a detection relay? I already have one. The game started me off with one. Initiating 
Yeah. I've already got one. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, move up here. And one of my little ra radar ones. <laughs> Though, of course, all my big ones have radars on them as well, so I don't really need one. That's a still three lay right there. I don't need to, like, hunt it down. Right next to their base. Okay. Be destroyed soon. There we go. Oh, well, I don't have to destroy their stealth relay. I just have to destroy their uh, MCC. Fair enough. I was wondering. I was wondering that. <laughs> Missing wing condition. Ooh, snowy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Orc ten. There we go. And let's watch that cutscene. Yeah, only this. this only this. Or... Only this one, and one more mission after this. After all this time, our goal is finally within reach. Thanks to you, the clan's morale and zeal for battle has never been higher. The Blood Fox capital of Haro lies just beyond the horizon, the icy heart of our enemy's domain. But there's still work to be done. The enemy is building up a considerable attack force, and will use every trick in their book to defeat us this time. I suggest we do the same. Destroy them all, Commander, and clear our way to the capital. That ought to give Zeron something to chew on tonight, as he desperately tries to find a way to save his miserable hide. Okay. Oop. Right. Uh. I don't. So, let's see, what's our objectives for this one? Defend MCC against all attacks. Locate and destroy Blood Fox MCC! 
Okay, continue doing what you've been doing every other mission. Tech level 7. Ooh, we've got stealth. Oh, hang on. Yeah, okay, I was being dumb. Cloaking device doesn't detect, doesn't hide you from radar. Anti-radar does that. Heat sink is from heat. Yeah, cloaking device is just visible. Just makes you invisible. It doesn't make you undetectable via radar, so. Yeah, okay. Uh, we are in the bottom left corner. We have a bunch of walkers. Like a radar walker there? Yeah, we got one of those. Uh, okay, and some kind of big hovercraft vehicle thing there. No. Okay, let's see. Where is a mine? There's one. Uh, build a second miner. What have we got? We've only got a... Okay. We're going to need a weapons relay. We don't have one. And... Could build a stealth relay. But, eh. I don't think we need it. We'll build our answer to everything. What's this one got on it? Oh, okay. You got a heat seeker. Uh, there, that's a particle emitter. Oh, a sonic, yeah, a sonic, sonic disruptor. You've got a talon, two, uh, no, you've got a talon, you've got the particle emitter on the front. And you've got the, uh, like, missile rack thing. Okay. Kind of a bit of everything. It's just from here there was something that looked yellow, but that's just the uh, the edging on its wings. Because it's fancy. Map seems rather small. There's another mine up there. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Bunch of hovercraft on the water there. And, ooh. No, they're attacking me. They're attacking me with tiny little thingies. Wait, I'm firing missiles. Oh, I do have a uh, weapons relay. You're like hidden down there. Oh, you've got a cloaking device on you. That makes a lot of sense. I kind of forget that you can put, I f completely forgot you could put the stealth things on the uh, relays so you can make your uh, weapons relay just completely hidden and does it have a weapon on it no it doesn't so yeah it wouldn't attack the enemy they would have to uh use radar to detect it could it make it completely invisible though? or mostly invisible I think if it's cloaked, you would have to be right next to it to be able to see it. If you had an anti-radar on it, you would be able to use radar to find it. But you'd be able to use metal detector. Metal detection, because, well, it's either one or the other. Okay, well, I already had one. 
Oh, pardon me. Oh no, they got pods. by vehicle oh well if you haven't seen what pods do that's what they do they use computer viruses to take over vehicles like engineers in command and conquer i thought they'd be useful but they're very slow so, I don't know. For the effort it takes to build them, it's just kind of not worth it. How many opponents are we against? Only one. Okay. Something there, but I can't see what it is. Well, there we go. What have you got on you? You did you don't have an anti-radar, so why couldn't I see you under the fog of war? You've got a cloaking device, but as I just said, that doesn't prevent radar from working on you. You've got... You're the uh, heavy chassis, so you've only got four points. You've got a claw cloaking device and two flamers i should have seen the uh green uh silhouettes of them moving underneath the fog i thought oh well go collect that nope it's the wrong thingy nope I guess there'll be a land path to their base. I wonder which one would be better. The uh, Blood Fox's gates or the Hammerhawk's flying units. The flying units are good, but they need refueling. The gate doesn't need refueling. Uh, and you can fly one of them to wherever you want. And as I said, you, you don't need to refuel it, even if even though it flies. Can't attack though. But you set it down, and then you can just teleport a bunch of units over there instantly. Hmm. Whereas if you wanted flying units to move from one side of the map to the other, you would need to have a... Uh, you would need to have periodic um, transport relays to refuel them, because at least the uh, heavy fortress ones, uh, they use up fuel quite quickly. Actually, 
actually. It looks like I'm going to have to fly over there. Or I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to use hovers. Okay. Uh, let's see. Chassis, fortress, transport, hover. We'll just make you the same as the others. Uh. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh. Heavy. Heat seek missile. So they can meet up. Radar. No. Because I did it wrong again. Now that costs 2,000. 2,000 of both Kular and Calibrium. These ones can still hang around to defend my base until I'm ready to move it. Since it looks like we're going to have to Go over there. I've actually run out of cooler on this field. Move up to there. anything over here no. okay nope. unless there's a path up there I don't think I can go over land on. Please tell me. It's a very narrow path leading across the top of the screen there. This is where the gates would be nice. Because then I could just float my unit, fly my units over there. Pretty sure I don't get those though. No. Flies are my thing. Hmm. 
Move down there. Whoop, hang on. What's this? <laughs> hey, there is actually a path through here. Nice. I see relays. Walkers aren't going to go through there. So you two, you're going to be left behind over here. Hover can't go through there either. Only the uh, spider bots. I might actually swap over to continue building the uh, spider bots. Oop. Oh, we're under attack. Again, they seem to really be able to know just when I've moved my units away to attack. Or I just have terrible luck. Destroy my... Uh, destroy my... Repair bot. Uh, sigh. Oh well. Everyone, yeah, thank you for... Very much for the follow, Luna was here. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Even though I can move my units over the mountains there, it still might be best if I hmm, build hovers. Just because they're sending the units across the water, that way I can push against the direction they're attacking from. I can catch anyone which is uh, coming to attack me. Get any hovers or anything? How many of those spider bots do I have? Three. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a bunch of the uh, other ones now. Which mission is this? Uh, this is mission ten. So this one and one more uh, will be finished with extreme tactics. This mission that's actually, let's see, for the Blood Fox campaign, we had that interesting sort of you had one vehicle and it was an arena brawl with a bunch of other Blood Fox uh, clan units. This is just really a straightforward mission. Would have preferred something a, a little bit more different, but oh well. What's next? Hmm, well. I have something in mind. Uh, I'd like to get... Which I would like to uh, get started on, but I'll finish this first. It uh, depends. We might get to it. Depends on how fast we can get through these other missions. I mean, we might be able to uh, move on to it tonight, is what I mean.
And since I finished Diablo, I have to think of something else to do as well. Hmm. There might be more multiplayer Factorio tomorrow. It depends on timing and whether people are available or not. That's not something for me to decide. I've been messing around with it a bit, a fair bit in my own time. Uh, I understand a lot more of what I'm doing in it now than I was at last time, so that's a, bon that's a bonus. Are my designs any good? No. It's a terrible mess. In a funny way, I don't think I would want it any other way. Up down here. I'd also had a look into some other games which I was mentioning a while back. Uh, Urban Assault was one of them which it seems to work perfectly fine. Maybe a little bit too fast? I have to get used to the controls in it though. I'm pretty sure you don't use the joystick in it. It was all, I always use. I remember playing the demo using just a keyboard. Uh, the tutorial doesn't really teach you all the shortcuts from what I, from my brief looking at it. So fumbling around with the keyboard, trying to figure out how to, uh, like, how to. Oh, what was it? It was like telling me to move my units from one point in the map to another. And you have to like select the leader of a group of units which to move them as a squad but i was trying to move flyers and it was telling me to move them but i couldn't figure out how to actually get them to fly couldn't enter the game world for urban assault good it worked for me i was able to load the tutorial missions um so the uh actual like 3d battle maps i didn't get any further than that. I'm not sure how the game actually plays. Um, like, like campaign wise. You might have, like, branching paths, like you can choose different, uh, territories to attack. But that's basically complete guesswork on my part, because I haven't seen anyone play through it. And, uh, so yeah. The level loaded, but still showed the menu, and you could only alt F4 out. Right. I think I changed it to software rendering rather than hardware. Um, that worked, because I think I was having some problems with hardware rendering. So it might not look, if I did decide to do it, it might not look as nice as it could. I could probably fiddle with DirectX, Dia, uh, what's it called? DX Win to, Win to, uh, get it looking a bit better or something. Maybe. DG Voodoo didn't work at least. Okay, hmm. Yeah, as I said, I was able to get the levels to load, or the tutorial levels to load. Um, it was possibly running a bit fast, but no, I was able to drive tanks around and all that. Another one which I was looking at was a odd strategy game called uh, Baldies, which uh, Ross of the Cursed Farmer Ross's Game Dungeon did a video of a number of years ago. Which, I don't know. I don't think I ever played a demo of it. It's very weird. <laughs> um, I have a manual for it. 
I was able to find a PDF manual for it, which... Describes how to go, like, researching a whole bunch of different tech in it. I think there's a few more things in it from my brief overview than what was uh, shown in his video about it. Oh, right, you have to go around the debris, aren't you? Okay, get more. And then we'll, uh... Attack from two angles. The problem with that game, though, is... Well, there's like two versions you can get. One's a DOS version, another one's a Windows version. I think there was a console version as well, but I haven't looked at that one. Um, well, by watching of this video, the DOS version has like nicer visuals in it, I think, than the Windows version. Um, well, there's maybe some cutscenes which are missing. Um, but I couldn't get the DOS version to work. It kept asking for the CD, which... I don't know. I wasn't able to mount it on a drive, which uh, it was going to recognize. And uh, the Windows version ran, but it was really, really fast. So I'd have to find a way to uh, slow it down. There's also the updated version of Quake which came out, which I would like to, I don't know, see the uh, two new campaigns which came along with it. Since they were very nice and they actually gave it to me for free because I owned the original Quake on Steam. They seem to have done a good job with it from what I saw. My uh, brief look over the uh, campaign. That was the uh, updated version of it done by Night Dive. Seems to have a host of issues that remaster according to posts on Steam. Huh? Hmm. Okay. I haven't looked into what other people have been saying too much. Uh, I didn't notice any issues myself. It all seemed to run fine. Um, I know that's really not helpful. It works for me, but um... That might be things like engine inaccuracies or something. Like movement and some things, maybe. Hmm. Enemies have new models in it. You can change to change you can turn on and off a lot of the additions, so uh even though the enemies have newer sort of higher detail models but not really highly detailed i rather like them they've uh, kept to the original sort of blocky style to a nice degree uh well just giving them a bit more definition but they don't look out of place which is really nice yeah but you can turn all that off from what i was from by looking at the menus Initiating attack. Let's get rid of these. Uh, weird laggy movement, stuttering while moving, bugged menus, fixed HUD size, graphics glitches around 2D HUD elements, icons and letters. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I noticed any laggy movement. Hmm. Initiating I think I did see, remember something about maybe the menu not, like, choosing another option correctly or something. Initiating attack. Initiating but, uh, attack. it's not an issue which I had. Initiating attack. Initiating attack.
Apparently the new campaigns, one of them had come out in 2016. What was that called? Like... Initiating attack. Disillusioned of... Initiating attack. Engine or something like that. And the other one, I think, came out, it said came out in 2021, so I assume it came out with the, uh, remaster. Cultic looks good. You tried the demo. Perfect blood ripoff. I just seen a screenshot of that. I'll have to look at it. Look into it. I, I think I am due to play some more blood. Initiating attack. If I did play Quake, I'd probably play it through on the hardest difficulty because I've already done it on the second hardest. If I did Blood, I might, I'd probably play it through on the harder difficulty. Have to see. It's a new 3D Realms game. Oh, okay. Ooh, and I saw that there's a uh, expansion pack being expansion. Uh, being done for a medieval. It's like a new uh, chapter or something being added. I enjoyed a medieval. So that's something which I should uh, keep an eye out for when it gets released. That game is very pretty. Move it Initiating a little attack. closer. Targeting. You might not be able to attack me because I destroyed your weapons relays. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. I think a good test for the uh, Quake uh, updated version would be to see whether it works with all the... Uh, fan maps and all that like arcane uh arcane dimensions that was something was the blood remaster was that done by the same group of people was that a different group um they made sure that it was compatible with uh oh geez i can't remember it the uh the really really good uh like one person project campaign for blood. Okay. Let's watch the last cutscene. Ever since this war began. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ever since this war began, the Blood Fox Clan Lord has been telling his people that we are no threat to them. That the war will soon be over. The man can lie like a sand pirate. But he's right about one thing. The war will be over very shortly. Although I doubt he expected to be on the losing end of it. The enemy troops before you are all that stand between us and Xeron's final destruction. Destroy them, and the capital will be left defenseless. Then we can secure enough Kular to fuel our starships and leave this dying world. The gods have flown from Calibria, Commander and they are waiting for us to spread our wings and follow. We must only win this final battle, and the stars will be ours at last. Okay. Uh, let's see, briefing, what is it? There are two Blood Fox MCCs, each utilizing different technology. Okay, you can destroy each Blood Fox MCC. Okie dokie. It says tech level 8, but I don't think we've actually gotten anything new. Let's see. New. No. No. I think that might mean more in, like, the skirmish, because I think it would lock off some of the higher tier weapons. Okay, let's see. How are we going? Uh, got you two. There's a mine there. Uh, yeah, we are against two opponents. There's another mine up there. Let's build a miner. 
Uh, two fast scouts. And a bunch of our heavy spiders. What have you got? You have a hat. You have... Two, dis two disruptors, sonic disruptors, a heat seeker, and a metal detector. You have a seeker, talon, disruptor, missile, and emitter. Okay. Oh, hello. Actually, don't need you in the fight because we have a talon, but... I guess you can try and disable one of the others. You missed with all of your shots. Wonderful. Hey, don't go around. That's cheating. up there and when you build that other fast scout stop trying to go around my units Oh, hello. No, pods. They don't seem to build pods on their own. It's like they start off with like five of them. Or seven. And then send them to attack you. Or eight. However many of them. Ten. Initiating attack. Initiating attack. It was uh, was a distraction. Most important thing to get rid of are those pods. I don't want them turning my own units against me. There we go. Okay. And we'll start getting up some more units. Okay, let's wait for maybe another two of these spider walkers and then we'll start heading out. What's the map like? 
Okay. Big horizontal rectangle. Also nice that they attack me. They gave me a lot of resources to get. Okay. Get over here. <clears throat> We can hold here since there is a uh, since it narrows or pods. Initiating attack. Initiating attack. Targeting. Initiating attack. Core Decay is another new 3D Realms game. There's a Deus Ex vibe going on. Hmm, okay. Has 3D Realms always been around? I mean, I know they're an old company, but... Well, were they resurrected like a while, a while back? Or I thought they were incorporated into another larger company at some point. I've probably been told, I've just forgotten. Apologies. Did they make, uh, Ion Maiden or Ion Fury? Nah, shouldn't have had to have changed the name of that. They've always been around, huh, okay. I know Apogee was resurrected. And they're doing the, uh, like, remasters of all those old platformers. Yeah, I guess they have been then. 1987, though. I wonder what some of the first things they made were. Hmm. Oh. 87. That they would have made games for the Nintendo six uh, for the for the Nintendo for the NES. Uh, maybe the Amiga. I have no experience with the Amiga. A any of them? I know that I know there's a there's a number of different Amigas. <laughs> Twenty six hundred. Something or other. 540 or something? I don't know. Initiating attack. I think I played a few of them at the uh, PAXs they Initiating had here. Attack. Some years. Target. I should have a look at those. There's so many games on there which are considered... Very... Very, uh... Well... 
classics, I suppose, would be the uh, term to use. It's just I know a lot of them are very sort of limited. And I don't mean that. I, I mean that fully understanding it. I mean, it's like either they're going to be very, very difficult because they're ports of uh, arcade games or um, Initiating attack. they're going to be rather repetitive because I think there's a few like role playing games and that on there or like adventure games. Portal up here. Seems since this month they're part of Saber Interactive. Okay. I uh I don't think I have a, I don't think I recognize that company. to get around. Okay, we dealt with that. We can move up here. Checking like video game companies sometimes feels like you're descending down a huge rabbit hole. It's just like layers upon layers upon layers. It's interesting. It's kind of impressive sometimes how like how many subdivisions of companies they can be. In turn is part of Embracer Group AB, formerly known as THQ. How about that? Okay. Did THQ go out of business? So were they... I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how companies work. They brought back and then changed their name, or were did they like file bankruptcy and then resurrect themselves as a different company? I don't know how it works. Sorry, I don't mean to be giving you to do all this research. These are more just quest uh, me just speaking questions aloud. I don't like expect answers. Seems like a rebrand. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want you. Go over here. Also, I should save. There we go. So we had that hill, or that, yeah, that hill with the, uh, portal on it. Let's keep you around here while we scout around. Embracer Group AB owned 77 studios. That That's a lot. That is a lot. Be a bunch of things over here. Let's get rid of them. Not doing the EA thing of like buying up smaller companies and they're getting them to publish games and <laughs> you have outlived your usefulness. <laughs> Eating them. Gearbox is among them as well. Wow, okay. <laughs> Basically everyone. It's like... <laughs> I checked my birth certificate. Oh no! I'm under them as well. I didn't even know it. Oh. Anyway, 
whatever. I guess we could keep pushing down here. Are they repairing you and sending you out, or is it just several different ones which are coming to attack me? Go all the way around this long, twisty path. Please let their MCCs be right next to each other. There's going to be one over there, isn't there? Uh, I'm going to have to build hovers. Because it really looks like there's no path over there, over land. Yeah, okay, there's a... Oh! There's an MCC! Box made Borderlands? I think I rather enjoyed Borderlands. One and two at least. Two was an improvement on one. One Target. did get a bit repetitive. I think Borderlands 2 nicely expanded on things. I don't know. It was a fun ARPG. All the silly weapons which you could get. And the Half-Life expansions. Oh yeah, they made um Targeting. Opposing Force, didn't they? Did they make Blue Shift as well? I thought Blue Shift was either done by Valve or another company. Because I thought Opposing Force was kind of of dubious canonity because it was done by Gearbox. Targeting. But Blue Shift Targeting. was more definite in whether it's canon or not. We go. That's one MCC down. Uh, there's some things down there. No, it's just... Right. It's Isles. Good. Their weapons... Weapons relay is all the way down here at the corner. I see what you were doing, developers. Though if I had flies, I'd be able to get that then. No, oh, they actually attacked me. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build uh, other ones to get over that water. Again, unless there's a path down there. Actually, kind of looks like there might be. Please let there be a path. I really don't want to have to, like, leave half my army over there. Spend the time to build up replacements. Looks like I can go over here. <laughs> Again, these developers are being very sneaky by putting a path all the way down at the bottom of the screen. Bottom of the screen here. Yeah. Okay. 
We can all sit around here. And we'll keep uh, exploring. Maybe this will lead me right into the rear of their base. Uh, okay, it looks like it leads right into the rear of their base. That's nice. I'll be able to get rid of a whole bunch of their... Uh, of their relay stations. Uh, are you all repaired? Nearly. Okay, if we get this mission done, it looks like I'll be able to have a break and then we'll be able to at least do like an hour of... Uh, Next thing. Yay. Looking forward to this other game. I have no idea whether it's going to be... Well, I don't know. Reviews of it said that it was a pretty good game, so... Right, pretty high hopes for it. Okay, get rid of this. Get rid of this. They destroyed one of my vehicles, but that's okay. Also, apparently, if a vehicle is destroyed over uh, sharp rocks, it won't leave a body. Do they just have all of their relay stations hidden back here? Uh, but their MCC isn't over here. Where is it? Yeah, there's their base. Okay, get this done. Uh, move up here. Four swords. You have none of your high tech weaponry. Now that would make sense in a way to have like a refitting. Uh, station so that you can still make use of units uh, if your uh, weapons relay is destroyed. Uh, you can just like put them into the bay and have them have their weapons replaced rather than I don't know destroying them or just leaving them there with all the weapons which you can't make use of. There we go. I only lost one unit that whole time. Wow. 94 leadership. Actually, that's 11, isn't it? Oh, it's not my best score. <laughs> that's from that one Blood Fox mission that kind of uh, beats everything else. But it did get the second highest. There we go. Okay. Let's watch our victory 
cutscene. Uh. This is a historic day, Commander. We finally have enough cool art to go wherever the gods will guide us. Zeron is defeated, and before long, the Blood Fox clan will be nothing but a memory. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My <laughs> CD drive is wearing up. Shadows of a dead people who can trouble us no more. The clan owes you a great debt, Commander. One we can never hope to repay. But your name shall be entered into the Book of Heroes, and will be remembered always. Yay! Victory! <laughs> I like his desk. <laughs> we get this. That's 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 a bit more impressive looking than the uh, Blood Fox campaign. There's like a big ship there or something. Don't really get a clear shot of it. Like, kind of looks like a Protoss ship or something. I I can't really make out how that is at all. It's got a lot of stuff on it. It's got like a sand uh, hourglass there. And a bunch of uh, Newton's balls. Also, what is that? Like a VCR player? <laughs> it's like, a VCR player was like a... Uh, there's like a mini player or something built into it. I don't know. <laughs> I, huh. I guess if you want to, you know, if you get bored on your spaceship travel, you want to have a bunch of uh, VCRs to... To what? VHSs to watch. VHS, not VCR. Well, no, VH, VCR player. VHSs. What else do you have? A good view of the stars. Okay. There we go. That is uh, Extreme Tactics. Not an overly long game. What, two campaigns with 11 missions each? They, it's rather repetitive. Eh. It's not that... It, it's a rather mediocre game, as I've made clear through my playthrough. It's interesting, the design mechanic. Um, it adds a bit of variety to the factions, but, you know, there is just clear options which are better than all the others you make use of, so you don't really deviate much from them. That will see you through quite nicely, and then the Hammerhawks is the one which we're making use of. It's a bit of a pity, because there is... Like, it's interesting how the stealth and detection works together. It's kind of a, a rock, paper, scissors style thing going on. If you had, uh, this, you would have to use radar to detect them. If you use this, you would have to use heat to detect them. But, eh, it really doesn't matter. Powering through with, uh, you know, strong units is what works the best. Also, the game is rather slow. I think there was an option to turn the speed up in the in the uh, options, but that would have sped the entire game up, and uh, that meant that would have meant that you know the really little units on wheels would have just been zooming all over the place. So it doesn't really solve the problem of it being slow. It just you know. But yeah, I haven't shown off the training. Uh, it is one mission where you're following around uh, commands and it's just sort of like select unit. Click it to move it over here. You can build units instantly. There might be some cheats for this. I vaguely remember being able to build units instantly. Um, have a skirmish mode if you wish. You can change the AI I, to make it harder or easier. I don't know how much of a difference that makes. Tech level. Which again, I don't know exactly what things are considered what tech. It doesn't say. Artifacts, they're the little pickups we had in the later parts of the uh, Blood Fox campaign. They didn't feature in the Hammerhawk campaign. 
interesting. That just makes me feel that the Hammerhawk campaign was uh rushed towards the end. Or for the whole thing. Just feel a bit less polished than the Blood Fox. Have a bunch of levels and so on and so forth. But yeah, that is Extreme Tactics. I'll probably never play it again. No. Uh, for I don't know how many more years <laughs> since I uh, last played it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it or at least, you know, enjoyed looking at a game which has kind of been forgotten. It's not any real su surprise why. But there it is. And I hope you join me again next time.